Okay. Uh, I start again. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the lecture. Today, we will see one method, which is modified stiffness method, stiffness method to calculate and analyze the structures using the moment distribution method. Therefore, I saw not just only 40 students joined us. We are waiting for more students, I think up to 80. But because it's the time of the lecture, I start that. Okay. Uh, this slide shows that we are at week eight and we are now at lecture two. The date is 24th of April of 2020. Let's go to next slide. The topics of the lecture that we have today we see moment distribution method that it is continuation of the lecture that we had before. And especially today we see the modified stiffnesses and modified stiffness method. And you see that for some cases, that some special cases is very, very short and very, very fast. Instead of having, I don't know, several cycles, by one cycle or two cycle, we have the result. But it's not applicable for every case. For, I will show you for three special cases. When we have joint, uh, at the external joint, hinge. We have hinge as external joint, the last joint. Or we have symmetry. Finally, when we have entire symmetry, for these three cases, you will see that you have very fast solution. And you arrive to the solution very fast. And we see more examples. Therefore, from the section of 13.7 of the reference book, we will see modified stiffnesses. I am a little repeating the examples given in section 13.6 have illustrated that in three special cases that suggest some modifications for simplifying the moment distribution process might be found by recognizing certain noun conditions. Now, we start to find the relation between the stiffness and modified stiffness for these three cases. Because of that, you see that consider as is shown in figure A, figure 13, 13, part A, consider that we have one structure that has only four members. One, and we apply one moment at joint G at the center. Therefore, I, I wanted to show you by some colors. Uh, therefore, imagine that we have this moment applied clockwise at joint G. And 
at 20. Now, when you have this moment, this moment at joint J is distributed between the ends of joints first, as you see here. And then let me change the color. And then first you see that that is distributed between the end of the joint here and then from the end of the joint it transfers to the end of member and goes in the and uh, carry over in the other uh, end and then this the portion of or contribution of M at joint G J, which is equal and opposite the other one, you see that this one, you see that mm, let me cancel this one. Okay, you see that these two moments <coughs> are equal and opposite. If you had here clockwise, it was reaction at the joint, end of joint, it was counterclockwise. <coughs> at, at this point, at the end of joint and the end of member, they are again equal and opposite. Again, this is clockwise. When this is clockwise, you know that by carryover factor, portion of this one transferred to the far end. This near end, this is far end. Therefore, if we have M J A here, M J A, half of that for constant E I, then we have constant E I, half of that transfer in the other part. Let me, perhaps someone wants to join to the lecture. Yes, I should admit. Some more or not. Okay. Now, I was here, yeah. Therefore, you see that when we have one moment here, the solution and half of this one transferred to the other part. The same situation we have for the moment JB and half of that transfer to the other part and also for M J C that half of them transfer to the other part and again for moment J D Half of them transfer to the other end of the member. What happened? We had applied one M here, the value of M. Let me show with the other another color. 
for example, by, I don't know, yellow, can you see or not? We applied at the beginning this moment M. Apply moment M. Uh, we have more attending one by one. Yes, but yes. Okay, welcome. Okay, let's get back to the lecture. This M, this M at the end of the, uh, at the applied at joint G, J at the center of the horizontal structure, at joint of the structure, it is distributed between JA, JB, JC, and JD. And for that, first we have at the end of joint J, the M, J, A, J, B, J, C, J, D, which are distributed proportional to the stiffness of the elements J, A, J, B, J, C, and J, D. And then, uh, later you will see when we have distribution factor, the book didn't write negative. What I add one negative sign for transferring, you see that works very well. Why? Because here at the end of the joint and the end of the member, the sign of the moments are opposite. M, J, A, at the end of the adjoint, at the end of member, they are opposite. Therefore, we sign, change the sign, and then carry over to the other part, to the other part. Remember that. Then you say, why negative? It is the reason of that. Now, imagine that we have one, What's the color? Let me change the color again. The color let be blue. Imagine that when we have the, mem the member JA or here member J A This one is a fixed support one condition another case may we have a hinge support another case when we have symmetrical structure and last one is anti-symmetrical structure. Now let me gain some, I uh, want to add join to us. Yes, welcome. Now we have 17 students at lecture. What can we wait for? Let me see, someone has not, uh, transferred from Moodle from here to here. Please, everyone in the Moodle, in the USM or USBeam, join to the Google Meet by clicking on the uh, link that I gave here. Click on that and join to the Google Meet. We have the lecture on Google Meet. Thank you very much. Who joined? Let me see. Yes, they are joining. Muhammad Ali. Okay. Now, and please pay attention from now on, 
always we have lecture on Google Meet. If you join to the use beam or use M or Moodle, very fast, go and join to the Google Meet. Okay. Now, therefore we have three different conditions here. What are the conditions? The conditions, one joint, let me raise everything and then start again. The condition is one, we have one member, which we have a fixed support here. We have another member, which we have a hinge support here. And you see that in this case, M equals zero. And in this case, theta equals zero, the rotation is zero. When we have fixed moment, rotation is zero. When we have hinge, moment is zero. <clears throat> and we have another case, which is symmetry. When we have symmetry, the rotation at two ends are equal and opposite. Theta C here <coughs> equals theta applied here because when you have theta, here you have theta, theta, all of them theta. But minus that. But therefore, this is symmetry case. And when we have another element, which we have anti-symmetry condition. Why? Because rotation at the end D equals rotation at end J. And you see that when we have symmetry, we have just one simple curvature, one curvature, but when we have entire symmetry, we have double curvature here. Therefore, this shows <coughs> case one was fixed as before we had. Case two is hinge, the support. Case three is structure, this part of a structure, is symmetrical and another part of a structure may be anti-symmetry and it has anti-symmetrical condition double curvature for the formed shape in this case you know theta d equals theta for on the cases that we study here, we consider EI constant for each of the elements. It means that EI for the elements are equal. When we say EI is equal, when we say EI equal, E is showing the material, the same material, a steel or reinforced concrete, I don't know. And when we say I, I is not constant, just E constant, material constant. For each member, you may have different I. For member AJ, you have moment of inertia equals to IJA, and it has a length of JA. For member BJ or JD, you have moment of inertia equals to JD, and the length is LJD. For the member JC, also you have 
moment of inertia JC and the length of LJC. For the member JD, you have moment of inertia JD and it may have may have um, a length of LJD. Therefore, you see each element has different boundary condition at the end and has different properties and span length. But all of them, we consider the same material. E is constant. And we broke this structure to a joint and we saw the moments at the end of the joints, distribution of M between the ends of the joint. And then they are equal and opposite at the end of the members. And now this moment as applied on the near end, transfer to the far end, transfer to the far end, transfer to the far end and etc. Therefore, I am uh, repeating that we apply this simplified method, this fast method, that it is modified stiffness method for only three special cases. One, when we have, when we have here a hinge. Second one, when we have one symmetry case, when we have symmetry, a structure should be symmetry configuration of the structure and the applied load should be symmetrical as well. And the third one that we have is for a member which is applied the load and the structure is entire symmetry. Okay, as we had before, for the slope deflection method, for, <clears throat> for example, in the moment distribution method normal case, now we see what we have. For case one, which was fixed support, the rotation was zero. And it was fixed at the end A. The second case, when we had a hinge support and the moment at that point was zero. Therefore, we have hinge or simply support that at end B. The last one, when we have entire symmetry, theta c equals minus theta and at this case you see that the member rotates through an equal but opposite angle. The signs are opposite, the angles are rotations are equal but opposite at joint C. These are three different cases. That means, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, I made a mistake. The first one was fixed joint. The second one was hinge joint. The third one was symmetrical member lo symmetrically loaded and symmetrically the structure we have configuration and the last one is entire symmetry in entire symmetry the rotations of two ends are the same why because we have double curvatures therefore you see that the member rotates the same angle at 
Therefore, this is the condition of anti symmetry. The third one was condition of symmetry. Second one was hinge. First one was fixed. Therefore, we compare four different cases for three of them. For this one, for this one, and for this one, we apply the simplified, uh, the simplified or modified uh, stiffness. You know that at joint J, when we apply the moment, the moment is distributed between the ends of members or end, ends of the joint. And then when we apply the slope deflection equations, we obtain some regulations. And then after uh, applying the boundary conditions, theta zero, theta m zero, etc., we will find some cases that for example, you will see if K, J, B, that is for fixed support, for a hinge support, you see that modified stiffness factor is shown by K prime J, B, for member J, B, in that case, by applying the slope deflection from here to here, we find the relation between uh, modified stiffness for joint JB and the stiffness of uh, a member JB we have a factor of 3 over 4. This 3 over 4 is a factor we consider. Therefore, we had the original. Let me show you by some laser point. Now, the work is fixed. Forget oh, that it doesn't show very well here. Therefore, I don't know, it has some problem. Ah. Let's show you here K prime JB for the member that one end of that has boundary condition of the hinge support. Equals three over four times KJB. Therefore, we can say that, let me by color is better. It has some Problem. I don't know what's happened. Yes, doesn't work. Yeah. Therefore, let me go to the highlighter. What happened? It works. Therefore, for, for one element that has one the joint, we have this relation between 
modified a stiffness and a stiffness. Let me who join to the lecture. Welcome. Yes. And this is one case for hinge cases. Let's see other cases. For joint JC that we have symmetrical case, when we apply the slope deflection, the bonding condition, the theta, everything, theta A, theta, theta uh, J, theta D, we will find one relation between the modified stiffness, which is K prime JD, which equals three over, we can see here three over two, 1.5 times K JD. Therefore, is if you wanted to apply this modified stiffness method, we should multiply the stiffness factor of, of that member, if it is symmetrical, by 3 over 2, and we find the modified stiffness for that member. Finally, you see that moment we found from a stop deflection here for total applied moment, there is one portion of JD, JC, JB, and JA. All of them, the moment is proportional to rotation angle, which are equal to them, and one factor here. For E, and we find that that rotation at joint J cross M over 4E summation of K prime. What is summation of K prime? Is summation of this is summation of K prime from here to here. Now, when we find one by one M J A equals M times a factor, factor like K J A over summation of K prime. Why didn't put didn't put here k prime j a because it's a fixed for fixed k prime j a and k j r a are equal because the, the modified the stiffness and the stiffness they are the same but for these three cases they are different for these three cases m j b the portion of the moment from M is proportional to the relative modified stiffness factor of that member, which is K prime or member JB over summation of K prime. What was summation of K prime? As I mentioned, sum, summation of K prime is the summation of all members attached to the joint, the stiffness of them. For JC, again, is proportional to the distributed moment, is proportional to the 
modified a stiffness factor of that element, but this can say relative modified because divided by summation of K prime, summation of bar R. And MJD, again, similar to the other members, its contribution for getting moment is proportional to the stiff, uh, modified stiffness factor divided by summation of modified stiffness factors. It means relative stiffness factors. Therefore, this is the main thing that we use. Thus, it is seen that when an external moment is applied to a joint such as G, J, the distributed moments to the near ends of the members meeting at the joint are in direct proportion to their modified stiffness factors. If the conditions of the far ends are known, by using the modified stiffness factor, which was we called them K prime, we actually eliminate the carryover factor. Do you remember carryover factor one over two? Several cycles we carry carry from this end to the other end, from near end to the far end and we got a gain moment from the other joints. No, canceled. We have one distribution. Maximum in some cases, we distribute and again distribute the reflection. That's all. This is very important. That's applying the stiffness factor method. This method, we will eliminate the process of carrying moment to the other parts and the carry over to the other ends. Therefore, now let's summarize what we found. In case one, if the end of the one end is simply support, that is hinge, the modified stiffness factor is K prime. And we have this condition. It means we calculate the stiffness factor multiplied by three over four. We find the modified stiffness factor. In the second case, if we have a symmetrically loaded structure, the load are symmetrical, and the structure is symmetrical. In that case, the modification factor, we can find from this equation. It means modified stiffness factor K prime equals one over two times K. K was a stiffness factor and K prime modified the stiffness factor. And finally, if one end we have, or one member, we have entire symmetrical condition. In this case, the modified stiffness factor equals three over two times K. K 
k prime is modified the sickness factor and k is a sickness factor therefore keep in mind when we have hinge k should multiply by 3 over 4 when we have symmetrical condition we consider half of the stiffness factor when we have anti-symmetric condition we have maximum factor it is 3 over 2 1.5 times k or uh, we can simplify the equation that we have and we say that k prime it denotes the modified stiffness factor in that case we have s prime equals 4 ei k prime where s prime represents the modified stiffness. One is modified stiffness factor, the other we call modified stiffness. Now let's see some examples. Okay, I don't give you break, we continue because it's recorded, I want it to be continuous and then perhaps if we finish a little we can uh, finish the lecture earlier than two hours. Let's see. Now, this is one example. In this example, as you see, we have one structure with three members. The structure is symmetrical and the loads are applied symmetrically because here we have fixed support, the other side fixed support. We have here one support similar to the other one. The structure is symmetry. Now the loads, we have one concentrated load at the first span, and we have the same applied concentrated load at the last span. We have distribution, distributed uniform load at mid span. And the length of first and last, they are the same. And the EI is constant. If EI was not constant, we don't have the symmetrical condition. Now, as you remember, first we calculate K. I am sure that you remember very well that K was equal EI over L or length. And you see in all spans, at all spans, we have constant EI. Therefore, EI for all of them, they are the same. And L, you see, this is 20 feet. The second one is 20. This is 20. This one is 20 feet. And the last one also is 20 feet. Therefore, the L's are equal as well. If they were not equal, you calculate one by one. By getting ratio of them, you can find the relative stiffness factor. 
Here, actually, this is relative stiffness factor. What we can say as the stiffness factor. Because they are equal, we have here one, we have here one, and here we have one. Okay. This was for us the stiffness factor. Now let's see what is modified stiffness factor. When we have modified the stiffness factor, K prime, for a member that its end is fixed, doesn't change, these are equal. Therefore, you can say these are equal. Therefore, modify the stiffness factor is one as well. For last and gain the same. These are a stiffness factor and modified a stiffness factor are the same because we have a fixed end support here. But for the first one, when you see we have symmetrical here about this for example, axis, this is symmetrical line. It means that rotation here rotation here and rotation of here. This is clockwise, the other counterclockwise, but they are equal. You can say theta c equal but opposite theta b. Therefore, we have here symmetric condition, symmetrical condition. When we have symmetrical condition, so here we have symmetrical condition. We have symmetry. When we have symmetry, we should multiply the stiffness factor by a factor of 1 over 2. It was 1 before, now multiply 1, 2. The modified stiffness factor for us for this span is 1 over 2. Okay. Now we should cons we calculate even when we have symmetry, we calculate just half of the structure up to here, which is symmetric. We have center line here. We calculate the moment just for this part. And for the other part, for the other part of the structure, which has symmetry, For the other part, actually, we don't calculate, we don't have cycles, we don't have process. 
Just we say every moment that we found here, multiply by negative and find the other side. Let me, for example, write one example. We write MBC equals minus M AB You see, we have, we have changed the sign of the moment here. Therefore, for every moment we do the same. We say M DC equals minus M BA. We write M CB Equals minus MBC. Do you remember I told you we have the angles are equal and opposite? The same thing we have for the moments. Moments are equal and opposite. Therefore, it is important to pay attention. Moment also, they are equal and opposite. By this criteria, we calculate just for half part of the structure. And by changing the sign, we write and find the other moments in the other half. Now let's go and find the moments, end moments for the half, first half part, at, situated at left side. Let me change the color again. Go to blue, for example. Okay. Now, we calculate K prime over summation of K prime, which we call that, actually, distribution. You remember that. Distribution factor. At joint B, we have two members joined to that joint B, BA and BC. Therefore, we consider this one, modified one, and the other part. How we calculate 3 over 2 is clear. I write here. We have Two over three. We write here for member AB. I write distribution factor of for AB.
equals the k prime of a b over summation of k prime. which equals one over one plus one over two. from here. If you sum, simplify this one, you will find 2 over 3. Therefore, <clears throat> this 2 over 3 This value of two or three comes here. And similar to that one for, for example, member BC, you write K prime BC over summation of K prime. That time it is 1 over 2 over 1 plus 1 over 2, and you find this value. For the fixed support, because fixed support just absorb the moment, receive the moment, and will not give anything back, will not carry over any moment to the other side, we have one, zero, we have zero. But if it was hinge, it was one, you remember. And I told you always you should add one negative here, minus two or three, minus one over three, at joint B. And here, if it was value, it was minus. If it was hinge, it was minus one. Why? Because the contribution moment received after the solution at the end of joint, at the end of member, they are equal and opposite. Okay. For this load, concentrated load, we calculate fixed end moment. Fixed end moment that you know for a b it was minus p l over eight or p a it was plus p l over eight let me write here m f fix and moment for A, B, you remember that it was minus Y because the reaction is counterclockwise. PL, P times length L over 8 and for the other side it was plus because the moment was in the other direction therefore you can you have seen a lot of times calculated this one and you know that for here we have minus 30 uh, keep fit and for the others we have plus 30 <coughs> 
and for the middle span, middle span, uh, middle span pixel moment for distributed load is W L square over for B C is minus for the other is plus therefore here we have the value of moment distribution for the other part we don't care we should write here but because we calculate for half of the structure we don't care let me see who is joining Yes, Faisal is joined. What happened in the model? Still some people are there, few people. Please everyone join to the Google Meet by clicking on the link that I given in the use beam or use M or model. Thank you very much. Now, <coughs> let's if you agree, let me erase everything and then continue distributed the node. Now, as I mentioned, we put one minus here one minus here for the solution factor and now we have one effective joint B should distribute the moments how? at joint B we receive two fixed moments one from the B for BA element and the other for BC. We calculate the summation of these two values. Summation equals minus 10. Now, let me change the color. We multiply this moment to this distributed factor, which is minus one over three. We find this value and put here. <coughs> Similar action we do for the other member. We multiply minus 10 by minus 2 over 3 carry over factor and we write here at end member EA <coughs> now next step is for example, to transfer this one on the other side, carry over the other side, we don't care that because we are just calculating half of the structure. And half of this one now carry over in the other part. One over two. And we find a value here. We have a fixed joint 
absorb all the moment, nothing carry over the other side. Therefore, first we apply the fixed end moments, the summation distributed. We consider distributed moment here for those two ends. And then we saw the carry over moment at this end. For the other end, we don't care. Now, we finalize we finalize the calculation and process by at joint A the summation of the moment that we have <coughs> <coughs> One fixed end moment we had and one carry over moment. The summation comes here. And we find minus 26.67. At joint B, at the end of VA, we had two moments. The summation goes here and we write here positive 36.67. For the other end, we do the similar action, the summation of these two. comes here. Therefore, we find all the end moments for half a structure, half of the structure. Now, <coughs> as well, I mentioned before, Due to entire symmetry that we have, we multiply this value to one minus and wrote here times just changing the sign of that times minus one. We find here, multiply just by minus one. And for the other members, Similar to that, we multiply this value by minus one, and we find this value. Just by multiplying by minus one. Writing is not easy. Okay, multiple by one. And finally, this end multiplies by minus one. We find the other symmetrical end value. Multiply by minus one. Therefore, we have 
from the end moments. Okay, we have a still time. Now let's see another example. In this example, this example, we have one frame, portal frame, which has the condition of symmetrically. It's symmetrical frame, symmetrically loaded, and we wanted to find the end moments for them. Therefore, very easily, again, first we divide that one by two sections, two parts. This is the center line symmetrical and we calculate half of them. For joint B, which is active, we calculate the distribution factors. One student is joining. Yes, welcome, Shams. Therefore, let me, I have 15 chats, what is written. Good morning, Prof. Good morning, Yahya and Abdul Rahman. I hear and I see. Very nice. Abgir, good morning, Prof. Good morning to you, Abgir. Ahmad, okay. And then... Uh, Amro Tarek, hello Prof, sorry for being late, no problem, welcome. Faisal, hello, hi Prof. And Ibrahim, how we got K prime for member AB? Yes, your answer for K AB, because it's fixed, K and K prime are equal. Or AB. Or AB? Which one you mean? AB. Which one? I don't know. It's because late. Let me explain for the previous one. I go back to the text. I think perhaps you were in the previous slide. For AB, it's very clear. I wrote here for AB, K, AB equals EI over 20. Because for this member, we don't have any special case that we mentioned. We had we are fixed. K prime and K they are equal. When we had at one end hinge, or we have symmetrical case, or we have anti-symmetrical, we have different K prime value if compared with K. But for this member A B, they are equal. I hope I answered your question, Ibrahim. Thank you. Let's get back to the example. In this example, we have a symmetrical. We, and what's uh, your question perhaps here? What we can calculate AB. Here is given to you directly. You don't need calculate EI over L. In this example, directly relative stiffness are given to you. Therefore, for you, this one is given, relative stiffness. 
This is given. If not given, you calculate. Doesn't matter. That's E I over L. And even it says E I is constant, and you see that L for column is 10, for beam is 10 as well. Therefore, the beams and columns has the same K. Because K equals E I over L. You have same values for L, for columns, and for beams. So we have one in circle, one and one. But for member BC, we have symmetrical case. When we have symmetrical case, for simplifying the uh, calculation, let me change the color. We multiply by a factor 1 over 2 because of symmetrical condition. And we call this is k prime. This is k prime equals 1k times the factor 1 over 2. And this is for us k prime. For column A, B, and B, C, K equals K prime for this column. K and K prime equal, they are equal. K primes equals K for this one. And also for the other one. And K we calculated very nice for, for example, beam. L was here. And EI was constant for all of them. For beams, it was for beam. For columns, let me change the color. For columns, L is equal, which is, comes here. Therefore, first we calculated K, and then K prime. For the columns, K and K prime was equal. But for beam, K prime equals K times one over two. And we found this. And now for distribution factor that it is at PA and PA minus 2 over 3, we, put, we add minus. And the other 1 over 3, it's very easy to calculate. You write, for example, B distribution factor. For BA, Equals. We have one new student, Muhammad. Okay. Therefore, uh, let's get back here to the package. Ah, um, therefore, equals. Mm -hmm. 
uh, equals k prime for p a which is one over summation of k prime for column at p a is one plus the k prime b c which is one over two if you calculate that one you will find two over three and you put this one here and you put one minus there and for BC you calculate minus 1 over 3. The summation of these two should be 1 for checking. 2 over 3 and 1 over 3 when you have summation is 1. Now let's go back to the distribution of the moment, fixed end moments. I erase everything here. Let me erase all. Yeah. This is fixed end moment. This is fixed end moment we calculated for and BC. Actually, this is fixed end moment. That you are very expert to calculate that. You know that it is minus W if you have, let me show, it's clear, but for one time again when this is your member bc always i told you when we calculate fixed end moment we consider fixed support at both ends and if you have deformed shape if it was hinge here if it was hinged, you have the form shape like this. You had one rotation here. But you know that at support fixed, rotation is zero. What happened? Because there is one moment it came and pushed this one back to the situation of rotation Z. Therefore, you see that this moment should be counterclockwise here. Because of that, we write minus. And due to the load which is distributed is W L square over 12. For the other side is MF, fixed end moment for BC. For the other side, this moment should be clockwise. Why should push 
the element comes to one end that you have here fixed support. So it is positive. And here is positive. I think we have one uh, request to join to the lecture. Let me, who is that? Yes, Ahmed Hassan. Okay, welcome. Now, MF fixed moment here at BC equals plus something, but we don't care because we calculate half of the structure because of symmetry, we calculate half up to here. Now, let's go back and distribute the moment. As I mentioned, for distribution factor, we put always one negative here. And summation of M's at the joint. Just we have fixed moment from beam. We don't have anything from column. So for this summation, summation one is zero and one is minus 10. Multiplied here, we find this value here. And again, this value multiply to the minus two over three for the other end. And we find this value here. Now we find the summation of the summation of moment at each end. At end BC, we have minus 10 and plus 3.33. We add this together, and we put here. There's zero here, there is nothing, because the column is not loaded, there is not fixed moment view of that. Therefore, the summation of these two comes here. And now, if, of course, half of this value at the end of BC goes to the other end, CB, but we don't care that because of symmetry. Yes, welcome, Abdullah. Then, here, half of this value, let me change the color. Half of this value, is carried all, uh, over to the other part by multiplying by one over two, carry over factor. Therefore, at joint, at the end AB, we have this value. And at end BC, we have this value minus 6.67 and at the end BC we have minus 6.7 feet kips at end of BA it was plus and it's a control because summation of moment should be zero this is plus and this is minus they matches and half came to the other part that's all we have the results but let me explain a little more uh, let me change the color again 
you know as we have symmetry this goes to the other part but multiplied by minus one why because we have symmetry condition because of symmetry condition over here if we write you have minus 3.33 put keeps And also, for the other end, it means at BC, you can multiply minus one and right here. And for BA, uh, CB, CD, you can multiply this value by minus one and right here. This is this CD and this was uh, CB and this was CD. Therefore, you have found all the moments around the, this one. Okay, let me thank you very much. We see inshallah more examples next lecture. Now, let's see if you have any question, please let me know. I go to the chat parts. Let's see what is written. Uh, ah, it says first example, Ibrahim, I explained that. Ibrahim, okay. Faisal, thanks, Prof. Ramadan Mubarak, <laughs> thank you, Faisal, to you as well. Anyone else? Therefore, thank you very much. Let me write here. Thank you so much for your kind attention. See you inshallah in next lecture, in next week. Okay, Faisal, that's wrong and I okay. Thank you very much. Take care and be safe. We need you all and in a very safe status situation and very healthy and very, very happy, full of energy. Thank you very much. See you later. Prof, what about the midterm exam? Yes, 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 yes. Very good question. Midterm exam we will do next week. I will announce on the um, user or model, model, model. Next week, let's fix that. Next week, we will do at same day, Friday. Therefore, midterm exam will be Friday, next Friday. Ibrahim written after next week, please. Why, Ibrahim? It online exam. Yes, it's online exam, but I you will see that. Okay, thank you very much. Is enough. Another. Why have other course? For the concrete is Monday, for the structure analysis is Friday. That's all. Okay, thank profs. Thanks, thanks for Who's with Abdurrahman? Okay. Therefore, you know that exam is on next Friday.
Okay. Coming Friday, it is, I think it will be, ah, next Friday is holiday, it's first of uh, May. We should do on Thursday. Thursday is okay? Ibrahim, next please. Muhammad Ali, prof. It will be writing by hand. You will see that. You should, you should be prepared for everything. Yes, you should get write by hand and then get photo and then upload to the system. God bless you. Thank you very much, Ibrahim. Therefore, we fixed for uh, Thursday. Is okay? Rashid. After next week, Russia, Ibrahim, after next week. Okay, I postponed after next week. But you study very well. Okay, thank you very much. Good luck. See you. Bye bye. I have another lecture. Thank you, Prof. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Take care and be safe. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Good night and study very well.